Hey BBs, it's Plastic. It's hey back to you guys for another video. How are we all doing today? I hope we're all doing very, very, very well. In today's video, we have a doll that I got at the flea market a couple days ago, I think. And we, I'm so excited to open her because it is Barbie Fashionista Swap and Silent Artsy Nikki, whatever you want to call it, doll. And this is a doll that I don't know, like I never like knew even existed until finding her. Um, but I'm actually obsessed with her now that I have her, and I think I want to get her out of the box because. I don't, like, I, at first when I bought this doll, I was, like, a, a $25 fashionista in her outfit, clothed in her box, like, I'm so sold, and ever since I got her, I'm, like, should I, like, keep her in box, like, what should I do with her, but upon, like, further discovery, I found some, like, weird, like, little, like, marks on her body, like, or on her box, and, like, I, I don't know if y'all can see this very well, maybe it's, like, only in person I can really see it, but, like, these little mold, like, this looks like mold, it doesn't look like dirt, it's not on the outside, and she has, like, open, like, flaps in the box, and usually when, like, dolls have, like, open parts in their box, like, things can get inside, so I'm gonna err on the side of caution, and, like, I know it probably isn't mold, like, I don't know what it is, it probably is mold, I don't, I'm scared, so I'm gonna err on the side of caution and take her out of the box, clean her, do the, all the mold, you know, things to like, fully clean it all to make sure she's not moldy, um, because I'd rather, like, this box is not interesting enough, like, it's cool, it's a very, like, cute box, but I'd rather take her out, because I, I actually enjoy my dolls out of box anyway, and I would rather just not infect my entire doll collection, because, like, there's a couple spores of mold that I'm scared about, and this doll's too pretty to be infested by mold, and I'm just very anxious about mold, because, like, there was, like, a thing with my Ever After High doll collection when I put them in storage where there's, like, mold on them, because I just, I stored them incorrectly, so, um, we're not gonna have that happen again, and I'm just gonna be safe with it, but the box is cute itself, I love this picture, this is the Barbie picture to me, like, whenever I think of Barbie, I think of this specific image with the bangs, the fashionista face, like, it's so good, um, it is a Swap and Styles line, um, she's apparently sold at Kohl's, so check out Kohl's, here's her barcode if y'all wanna go check for her, um, her, this is the artsy one, I guess, whatever, she's, like, the only black one in the line, which is something, there's a I guess, yeah. Um, on the back, I've always thought this was really interesting ever since I saw it. It was like the swap and styling marketing. It was super, super interesting. So you buy the doll, then you buy the head, then you buy the fashion pack. So you're the only thing from this doll specifically in this picture is the body, which is super interesting to me. Like, I get, like, the whole Barbie thing was, like, you know, get the doll and, like, buy a bunch of clothes. But it's just very interesting, like, you don't even want to put the head on. But this head is really, really gorgeous. Wow. I actually really like the idea of swap and style st stop swap and styles and I always thought it was really interesting even as a kid. Um and I never owned any, I don't think. So I'm really excited to get her. Um I wonder if this like app is still available. Do y'all think? Download the Barbie Fashion Nisa Swap and Style app for iPhone available on the App Store. Phone is not included. Dang it. I was really wishing there was a phone included. Um we could show her style. Again, like this is so like Ugh, this is like my childhood. Like it's so white, but like it's so glamorous. I wish they would do this with Barbie, but, like, diverse, you know? Um, and I guess the Barbie Fashionista's website, I, again, wonder if that's still up. Maybe it is. Uh, yeah, this box is not that in interesting, to be honest, and I'm definitely going to get her out of it ASAP, so let's do that. And before I even got this doll out of the box, her hair tie snapped, so she did have, like, a original, like, brown elastic. Um, I thought that was interesting, but out of the box. And I replaced the elastic. She has gluey hair, though. Like, it's gluey like it's sticky on my fingers but we have the doll out of the box and i'm just thinking for archival purposes like i know this doll is not available to buy i just think it'd be fun to kind of go over her um so yeah let's just get into her so this face up it's stunning it's the eyeshadow is crazy i love how these eyes look in this mold the lips are big and they're juicy and they're like shiny she's a little bit of blushing i think maybe this looks like to be a little bit of blushing so that's cool these earrings are I guess matte, not, they're not matte, but, like, they're, like, a sh little shimmer, and they're gold. They are in her head, though. Like, these, like, Barbie earrings don't really come out of their head. Nikki has this really cool, intense, slickery, slippery gel that she's using. It's actually called Goo Seepage. So, it's not going anywhere. This doll has sticky hair, which is kind of known for Mattel products around this time period, which is easy. Just fix it up with some Goo Gone, and she'll be good. But, um, I love the blend of hair. It's, like, this nice brown with, like, some, like, highlights and it's nice saran hair it is curly i guess it's supposed to be curled it's box hair from 10 years ago so i can't be mad at it um and it just feels it feels sticky but i think at the end it's nice saran hair so i'll go with that she's she has this cute little choker that's like beige and orange and it has some flowers on it it's so sweet um and the doll has a really cool little like look okay she's like a fun body and i'm so into like okay we're gonna get into that in a minute this bag is 
it's nice. It's pink. It has a little painted thing, and it's hollow. It's really hard. Like, she sounds hollow. But I love this body. Like, I love the posability on the arms. Like, this is my favorite bar Barbie body ever, I think. It's so... It's not that posable. It's not, like, a made-to-move, like, you know, that articulated. But it just, it, like, looks nice. Like, that's, like, I love this hand mold so much. She also has a little, like, gold bracelet to match her earrings. And then a little, like, it's like a little flower with studs. It's super cutesy. This dress looks very familiar. But I have never seen it before, I don't think. It's this pink little top. And it is sewn together. Um... So it's, I don't mind that, to be honest. And at the bottom, we have this, like, denim -y thing. It's, like, three ruffles, and there's, like, glitter on top of it. I don't think the glitter... Yeah, the glitter comes off... Not really, actually. And the back is, like, regular, which I kind of wish they... Whatever. It's it's Barbie from, like, this time period. I can't be mad at it. Um, so it's a very simple outfit, and it's one piece. And these little shoes are little cowboy boots, and they're cute little brown. Could use some paint, but look at the little kitten heel um but it's fine for what it is but now i think it's time to get into doll nudity warning i guess if y'all are weird oh i hope these don't dry rot i want to see how this swap in style in oh god what is happening oh how does this work so um okay there's a button on the back what the heck hello oh no it ripped <gasps> no oh it's really just dry rotting frick I'm just gonna take it off. Frick! Uh, is it gonna stay on at least? Yeah, it'll be fine to stay on. But look, look, that's crazy. Hey, y'all. It's headless, head blood good, or whatever that girl's name is. This is so weird to me. What do you mean you can just take her head off? Hello? This is so. Yeah! Wait. <laughs> that's crazy. <gasps> what? So that's really interesting. So there's like a little peg. And there's a little code in there. This is wild. Who thought of this, y'all? I was low-key scared of this when I was little, but like, what is it? It's trademark 2010. Okay. This is just something. You don't see this. At, maybe I think you might be seeing this again with uh, uh, maybe a new doll line. The tweens might, maybe, lol, um, maybe, who knows? Um, there might be a leak, uh, maybe. Um, but this is, like, we have not seen this in years. So this is just wild to me. This is cool, though. Oh, there's, like, a little hook on it as well. That's... Wow. Girl. And it goes... It's so easy, too. It's not, like, a thing. It just goes... Wow. So, yeah, that was Miss Artsy's review. <laughs> I think this is so fun. I think this concept is cute, it's gimmicky, but it also works as, like, a real doll. Like, I think gimmick dolls are only good when they can work as a real doll. So that's why I like hair play dolls most of the time. Because, like, this is still, like, a Barbie doll. Like, she still functions the same. She just has that added mobility of being able to take her head off. She can still sit the same, use her arms the same. Like, there's nothing complicated. Like, she doesn't have, like, a voice box. She can go in water. I think this is really a neat idea, and I kind of hope to see maybe this come back, maybe, and for the Barbie brand, if they ever want to go back to, like, their 2019 era and, like, again, do it diverse. But, um, this is so fun. I don't, like, I think I'm gonna, like, be, like, all night I'm gonna be doing this. And I'm excited to get the glue, the glue out of her hair, um... Uh, so yeah, I'm just excited. I think she's so cool, and I'm actually so happy that I took her out of the box. Because in the box, like, she was just, like, sitting on my desk. She was, like, in the bag. Like, what was I going to do with her in-box? Like, this out-of-box, so much more fun. And I have to clean her for mold now. But, yeah. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about the Swap and Silent artsy doll. I'm really, really dying to know if you guys think this is fun. Do you guys like this gimmick? Is it silly? Have you ever heard of it before? Um, am I inter introducing it to you? I think everyone's seen it before at this point. But, um, that's so... Like, I'm gagged. Like, I'm, like, gagged. And uh, that's crazy. Okay, I'm going to stop saying that's crazy, but... Yeah, thank you guys, I guess, for watching today's video. It was so much fun, actually, with you guys. And I cannot wait to catch y'all, though, in the next one. I love you all so very much. Please have a fierce night, and I'll see you guys later. Keep your heads on. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Oh, my God.